You guys want to know a fun fact about St. Joe School District? First school district in the United States to integrate. In the U.S. In the U.S. Did you know that the St. Joseph School District holds the distinct honor of being the first district in the nation to integrate its schools in the summer of 1954? Well, these St. Joseph High School students weren't aware of that distinction until they visited the St. Joseph Black Archives Museum during the month of February. St. Joe, or the SJSD School District, was the first school district to be integrated, which I think is very cool. It really encompasses how much St. Joseph had a role in the Civil Rights Act and just making the country a better place. For the past several years, St. Joseph School District students have visited the museum, a place where people of all ages can learn about black and brown history on a local and national scale. I feel it's an awesome experience for them to just get an understanding of our local black history, um, a national black history. Being Black History Month, of course, this is an opportunity for really anyone to just get an understanding. Something that has happened, you know, for years that we've had this museum an opportunity and now getting a new generation of kids in and learning. This is not a new field trip for students who attend Benton High School. Four years prior to the pandemic, students have toured the facility. It is an eye-opening experience for many of the students. What we can do in the classroom is only so much and giving them the opportunity to come here and partake in a lot of the protest movements, the the peaceful protest movements that a lot of the black individuals in the 1950s and 60s uh, part partake in, giving them that, that chance to be in the first hand experience really gives them a, a chance of a better education for everything. I just, I'm glad that we've got the opportunity to do this and hopefully we can continue and grow this, this program as, as we move forward in, in the years. Gary Wilkinson, Black Archives Museum Committee Chair, says the museum gives students an insight into the history of the past. The material that we have, we've done a lot of research on, we've documented it. It talks about uh, the people from Africa, African Americans, who came here. And they came here not of their own volition, but many after they got here decided that they were going to make something of themselves. And we want them to get that same impression that no matter what obstacles they face, they can overcome those obstacles and they can do well. In 1991, Mr. Jewel Robinson, a school teacher who came to St. Joseph from Oklahoma, started the Black Archives Museum. After his death, his wife asked the St. Joseph Museum to take over her husband's dream of having a place where people could learn of the contributions African Americans have made to the St. Joseph community and surrounding areas. He had a, a yearning to teach the young people where they come from, their history. So after he passed, it, his wife asked the uh, St. Joseph Museums to take it over and they agreed to do that. And now we have one of the uh, better uh, African American history museums in the area. I think one of the first things um, as a human race that we have to do to move on and move forward is education. I think that education is one of the most important things that as individuals in a society we can do to move forward and one of the ladies upstairs that was talking said that we have to learn from our history in order to improve and progress and I think that is really important and that having something like this open for the community to come to is really important in order to educate ourselves and progress as a society. It really helps the community learn. Uh, learn from maybe the past, what mistakes we've made, and help us build for the future. It can help us be better overall, uh, help us learn. So overall, it's, it's a good thing to have, especially in our community like this, to have something so close to home.